So now let's see how do we calculate the wrap address in this AHB. So here the starting address, here the starting address is 0x38, that is hexadecimal 38. So for our example here, starting address is 0x38, which is hexadecimal representation and followed by 0x3c, 0x30, 0x34. So how we are getting this address wrapped? So formula for wrap boundary, which is int start address divided by number of bytes into burst length into number of bytes into burst length. So first of all, let us calculate the wrap boundary. Wrap boundary is the initial address to which the address should be wrapped around. Wrap boundary is nothing but the address to which we should get back to. or wrap back to. So this is wrap boundary. So for calculating the wrap boundary, so for calculation of wrap, let us calculate the wrap boundary. So the formula for wrap boundary is int start address divided by number of bytes. Here in this case, in our case, start address is hexadecimal 38. So hexadecimal 38 divided by number of bytes. Here the size of the data is word, which means four bytes. That is four bytes. into burst length. Burst length is, this is example for wrap 4. So the burst length is 4 into 4 into number of bytes into burst length multiplied by number of bytes into burst length. So we have int for this. This means we should only consider the integer part. So first let us convert this hexadecimal number to decimal. We get if we convert 0x38 to decimal we get so let us convert it to decimal then we get 56. in decimal. So 56 divided by 16 we get. So 56 divided by 16 we get 3 in decimal and we multiply it by 16 into 16. We get 48 in decimal. Now let's convert 48 to hexadecimal we get 0 x 30 hexadecimal 30 so the wrap boundary is 0x 30 so when the limit is reached the address should wrap around to 0x 30 now let's calculate so we are getting wrap boundary which is equal to 0 hexadecimal 30 and when we should get and when we should get to this address when we should get when we should wrap around to this address which is given by address underscore n which is equal to wrap boundary plus 
number of bytes into burst length your address underscore n represent address underscore n tells when we should get back to this wrap boundary so it is given by wrap boundary hexadecimal 30 plus number of bytes plus burst length number of bytes is 4 and the burst length is 4 so 0x okay for calculating this address underscore n let's convert 0 hexadecimal 30 again to decimal which gives hexadecimal which is equal to 48 in decimal plus 16 which gives 64 in decimal and if we convert again it to hexadecimal we will get 40 so once again I am doing this so first convert 30 into decimal we get 48 and add it with 16 we get 64 convert it into hexadecimal we will get 40 in hexadecimal so first i am converting this to hexadecimal we will get 48 and add it with 4 into 4 4 into 4 means number of bytes into burst length that is 16 we get we get decimal 64 convert it into hexadecimal we get 14 hexadecimal so the address underscore n which is equal to hexadecimal 40 so address underscore n we are getting 0x40 hexadecimal 40 so when we reach this address we will we should that when we reach the address underscore n that is 0 x 4 0 hexadecimal 40 then the address should wrap around to hexadecimal 30 so in the example given here the address is incrementing by 4 bytes it is going to 0 x 3 c plus 4 bytes and again it is going from 0 x 3 c to 0 x hexadecimal 3 c plus 4 bytes it should go to 0 x 4 0 0x40 is address underscore n so we are reaching 0x40 so we are wrapping back to our wrap boundary that is 0x30 again the address is incrementing by plus 4 bytes so this is how we calculate the wrap boundary and maximum address limit that that the address should be incremented so that's all for this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.